In this video, you will see how quick and easy it is to design a professional template using the Bartender Designer. When you first open the Bartender Designer, you have the option to start a new document or to open an existing document. Select the Start a new Bartender Document option to launch the New Document Wizard. The New Document Wizard walks you through the page setup for your document. The options in the New Document Setup Wizard will differ based on the printer you select. It is important to select the printer that you will use to print your document. When choosing your print stock, you can specify custom settings for your document or choose from Bartender's predefined printer stocks. Please refer to our other tutorial videos to learn about setting up a custom page size for thermal, card, and laser inkjet printers. Bartender allows you to set a color or picture to print as the background of your document. The template image option doesn't print on the document, but instead is used as a guide for designing your document. You can learn more about using background features by watching our other videos. The last page of the New Document Wizard allows you to review your document page setup before clicking Finish. To add a text object, click on the text icon in the Create toolbar and select a text object. Then click on the template design area where you want to place the object. Most template objects start out with sample data. Click on the selected text to enter edit mode and type in the desired data followed by the enter key. With the text object selected, you can use the text toolbar at the top of the screen to format your text. Bartender supports a variety of fonts, including all Windows OpenType and TrueType, Adobe fonts, and most printer-based fonts. You can resize any object by dragging one of the selected object's handles. To deselect, click in any blank location on the template. Let's organize the design by drawing dividing lines for the template. Select the Line tool by clicking on the Line icon in the Object toolbar. Place the Line tool where you want the line to start. Click and hold to draw the line and release where you want the line to end. When finished, click on the Select icon to turn off the Line tool and return to normal cursor behavior. You can adjust lines after they are drawn using the Select tool. To make changes to multiple objects at once, hold down the control key while clicking on each object to select them. We can use the Line and Shape toolbar to adjust the line thickness. Now let's make a barcode. Bartender comes with more than 400 ready-to-use barcode components, including support for more than 40 barcode symbologies and a dozen international barcode standards. Because some barcode standards mandate a particular barcode size and specific text styles, we include ready-to-use versions of many of these combinations here in the Select Barcode window, so you don't have to design them from scratch. Let's add a GS1-128 barcode. As with text, newly created barcodes contain sample data. You can make changes to the barcode by double-clicking the barcode or by right-clicking it and selecting Properties. Select the Data Sources pane and replace the data to be displayed in the barcode. The position of the human readable characters for this barcode must be changed for the template we are building. We can also change the typeface and font size used for the barcode's text. Let's resize the barcode to better fit the template. Next, let's add a graphic of a company logo. Click on the Picture icon in the Create toolbar to begin the graphic import. Graphics can be linked from an external graphic file or database. For now, let's simply embed a graphic inside the template. Bartender supports a variety of graphic types. Choose your graphic and then click in the template where you would like the graphic placed. Now let's add another barcode. Your recently used barcodes are displayed in the drop-down menu, so they can be quickly selected again. However, because we want to create a different barcode this time, select the More Barcodes option. You can place a two-dimensional barcode, such as a data matrix, just as easily as a one-dimensional barcode. 
Since we want to change more than just the default embedded data, let's open up the barcode properties. Different options are available to be customized for each type of barcode. Barcode width can be changed directly with the mouse or by modifying the appropriate property. Some two-dimensional barcodes only allow you to change the height indirectly by altering the X dimension or the quantity of data. Now let's add some more text. When you like the way an object looks, you can save some time by copying it instead of creating a new one. In addition to using the Windows copy and paste functions, you can copy in one motion by pressing the control key and simply dragging off a copy of the existing object. Since we don't need to change the font style or size, simply type the desired text. Now let's add a font-based graphic by clicking the text icon and selecting Symbol Font Characters. Use the Font drop-down menu to select a font you would like to use characters from. Then double-click on the symbol to add it to your document. Finally, move and resize the Symbol Font character to fit your needs. Bartender has built-in access to a large online resource of royalty-free clip art. Select Insert from Clip Art Collection from the picture icon to display the Clip Art browser. Type a word or phrase describing the image you are looking for into the search field, followed by the Enter key. To import one of the graphics into your template, double-click on the image. Then click in the template where you would like to place the image and resize it if necessary. You can create complex shapes in Bartender by clicking the Shape icon on the toolbar. Select a shape and place it where you want on your template. The fill and border colors of almost all shape objects can be changed by using the Line and Shape toolbar or in the Object Properties. This completes the creation of a basic bartender template. For more information, check out our other resources at support.seagullscientific.com. Thank you for watching.